I'm Meg and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to prepare your Canva file for print. Now there are two ways to do this. There's the easy way and then there's the way that I recommend. So we're going to start with the easy way. I'm going to head on over to this flyer that I already had uploaded. Canva made this template, so I just pulled it from there. Any file type will do. Now, when you're preparing a file for print, you're going to need the bleed. You'll likely need the crop marks, but check with your printer. And you'll also want to make sure that all of your important elements fit within what's called the safety area. So I'm going to demonstrate what all of that means. And everything that we're about to do, you can use whether you have a free Canva account or a Canva Pro account. So we're gonna head on up to File. And to start with, we're going to show margins. Now, this is your safety area. This is what Canva believes is your safety area. Each printer is different, which is why I recommend doing the next method that I'll show you. But right now, you can see the dashed line. I'll zoom in on that. So basically you want to make sure that all of your text is within the safety line. It's okay if you don't have all of your graphic or elements in the safety line, but you want to make sure that everything you don't want cut off is within the safety line. So text is number one. All right. So after that, you're going to want to show your print bleed. Now your bleed makes sure that your print marketing materials or whatever it is that you're making doesn't print with a white line if you have a color background. So you'll notice that Canva automatically extended the background beyond this dashed line. This is the bleed. So when your printer cuts the design, if they accidentally cut into the bleed, you'll still have a pink background here. So that's why the bleed is important. And let's say you are ready to go and you want to download this file with the bleed and with crop marks. What you're going to do is click the download icon in the upper right and make sure that you select PDF print and then click the checkbox for crop marks and bleed and then download. And you'll wait ever so patiently while Canva downloads your design. And you can see it shows the crop marks. Now, notice that there is a white line here. This is not the bleed, so don't panic. This is just where the cut line goes. It extends to the crop mark extends out here. So you can't see the crop mark printed on the design because you don't want it printed on the design just in case the file was accidentally cut incorrectly. But basically these two lines intersect right here. So you still have the bleed here. So that's the easy way. The way that I recommend is to look up the print specs on your printer's website. And this is super important because each printer has different specs and Canva is only kind of guessing what they are. So if you really want to make sure that your design will print perfectly, head on over and find those print specs. So I use Vistaprint or Moo depending on the day and what I want to print. Vistaprint tends to be the most common. So let's say you want to print business cards. What you do is you click business cards here. And then you're going to scroll down. Past all the stuff. And you're going to head on down to the frequently asked questions. And you'll see that your business card size is 3.5 by two inches, but that doesn't include the bleed. So you're gonna wanna click on the size and dimensions guide. And you're gonna wanna scroll down to this. You'll wanna find where it says bleed and you'll remember these dimensions. So they're 3.61 times 2.11. Head back to Canva, create a design custom dimensions, change that to inches, or if you live in a place that uses centimeters, do that. So it's 3.61 inches by 2.11 inches. I'm just gonna double check that. Perfect. So you're gonna click create new design. And these are your business cards. Then when you are ready to print them, you're just going to click download. Oops. 
I have to add something before to let me print. <laughs> so we're going to click download and then you're going to select PDF print and you're not going to want to click crop marks and bleed because we already have the bleed here. So instead of the file being 3.5 by 2, which is the actual business card size, we included the bleed here. Now this just makes sure that your file, your final product is cut properly. Now just for comparison's sake, we're going to go on over to Moo and see what their bleed is for business cards. So the standard is 3.5 by 2, but we're going to find out the bleed. And you'll notice for Moo, their bleed is 3.66 by 2.16. So in comparison to Vistaprint, you can see the dimensions up here. Vista Prints bleed is 3.61 by 2.11, and that's why I think it's really important to use this method when creating your file. It is a little bit more work in the beginning, but it actually saves you time later on. So again, just make your file custom dimensions with the bleed, and then you don't have to do anything else. You just download it, and that's it. So I hope that helped. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. And if you are starting a business, be sure to check out my free Business 101 course.